Registry would like you to sign for it, Mr. Dolby. And ask their grandmothers to sign for a bus ticket. You're not forgetting the chairman's meeting. I'm not likely to forget that now, am I? Only it is fixed for five. For some species, Miss Lamb, an hour is a lifetime. Miss Lamb, kindly remind Mr. Dolby he's expected, will you? We can't wait indefinitely. Then find him as quickly as possible. He must be somewhere in the building. As Mr. Dolby is the only oceanographer among us, and for reasons best known to himself has failed to join us, I've no option, gentlemen, but to postpone the meeting. I'm sorry you've been troubled. Cool's in here. I'm sorry, sir, Eric. I'm still trying to... I've had enough of your excuses. I've had the whole building searched. There's no sign of Mr. Dolby. But he must be somewhere. <laughs> Dolby wasn't much good on approach shots either. A crafty potter, though. I made that young man, McGill. Made him from nothing. And this is what one gets. Nearly two months now since. Since what? Since he walked out. One's entitled to some explanation. I did make him a junior director. I'd even hoped that one day he and my daughter might make a go of it. Then this. Takes off with some of the firm's most advanced research. You mean he stole it? Well, it's not quite as simple as that. His service contract did give him some claim on our research findings. But morally... They don't make profits on morals. What about the research? Oh, you wouldn't understand it. Dolber's an oceanographer. Well, why don't you try plain English, Sir Eric? A scientific expert on everything that happens in or at the bottom of the ocean. He'd been working on plans to start commercial sea farming in the Adriatic. We can farm fish, you know, the way a, a farmer grows wheat or a rancher raises cattle. Dorb is one of the world's authorities on the Adriatic. You think he sold his findings? Well, there's no evidence of it. The results haven't shown up in the industry. You want me to bring back the papers, is that it? No, 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 just find him. Tell him, tell him all's forgiven. I can understand how any man working at the pace he did can go off balance. 
We might put it to him that at least we deserve first chance to buy the papers. Well, three quarters of the earth covered with water. And that's a lot of water for an oceanographer to get lost in. Well, there's no doubt about it, sir. The old guy is hiring McGill. That's a bad break. Yeah, it sure is. What should I do? What can you do? Too much at stake to rock the boat. That's right. What about McGill? He may never find Dolby. If he does, he'll have to take his chances, such as they are. Right. We know he flew to Athens. I have reasons to believe he may be headed for the Greek islands. What reasons? Other investigators? We're a big company. We have our resources. How much? 2,000 down with a month's expenses. Well, it's about the right time of year for the Greek islands. like this and I'll be out of my mind. Why me? Why'd you have to pick me? Well, you're an expert at your job and you're single like me. There's nobody to mourn either of us if we're killed. I wish it would begin. I once waited in the lobby day and night for seven weeks, starting Christmas Day. Nearly froze to death. The president and country to stay alive. You know this guy? No. Have you ever seen him around before? Have you ever seen this guy? Have you ever seen this guy? Staying here. He'll be in soon in his power boat. I see we fresh company. Small world. Well, that makes at least two. They're beginning to bite. He's no Albanian. You can tell his nationality from half a mile. His name's McGill. He was bounced out of American intelligence about a year before I became an agent. You lot of human yo-yos. Not him. He was thrown out for good. Look, I know I'm only an amateur at this, but isn't it possible he's still one of you? I have a confidential file back in London. There's a picture of Miguel in it, and under the picture are my instructions on how to handle him. How? Oh. Like poison, pal. No word yet of when your new engine will arrive. Repeat, no word yet of your new engine. Another two weeks of this and I'll be out of my mind. his name was? McGill. Does he know as much about you as you know about him? He doesn't know me at all. What does he drink? 
Yeah, all right, Packard. I heard loud and clear. Trouble, whistle and I'll come running. Otherwise, I'll see you at the ball tonight. Uh, black tie is optional, I take it. Just be there on time. Rudnick will be waiting. Oh, yes, dear Rudnick. What should I say to him? The interesting thing will be what Rudnick says to you. Nicky, uh, have you got the register handy? The register, sir? The, uh, the big book with the names. Oh, yes. Just a moment. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Nikki, the American, the one who arrived today. Uh, McGill, sir. Is that his name? Yes, sir. Room 17? Uh, 17, on the first floor. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, sir. Uh, good night, Nikki. Good night, sir. Who is he? Rudnik, sir. He's from Albania, via Athens. You know him long? Only since two weeks. Two weeks? Did he come before or after the other two? Uh, no, later. Have any idea what his line is? 21. The same floor as you. We learn not to take time too seriously here in Corfu. How long will you stay? Till you're bored? I don't bore easily. Uh, whiskey and water. There's a time to play and a time to play. And uh, no women. <laughs> How about your friend? Hmm? Your friend, the American, Mr. Packard. Oh, he uh, does get bored, and it's uh, his boat. Oh, I envy him his boat. Was it uh, your idea to come here or his? Ours. He is uh, very rich, your friend, Mr. Packard. I wouldn't call him deprived. Are you, in any sense, uh, partners? Yes, yes, we're a uh, pretty good friend. I'm in business, Mr. Dolby. I buy, sell, make contacts, sometimes offers for papers of commercial value. Pity I have nothing to sell. A pity. A great pity. Oh, you uh, know Mr. Rudnick, don't you? Yeah. Hello, Anna Petticlaw. Oh, you speak Greek. It's always fascinated me as a language. Are you on vacation, Mr. Rudnick? I wouldn't say that. Your fame is far-reaching, Dolby. No, I am here to do business. I have ready money for the research papers. Mm. Now, wait a now. moment. Don't deny it, Dolby. I know. You know. The whole world knows about your research into sea farming. Even, I am sure, your partner, Mr. Packard. So you're a businessman from Athens? I didn't say that. Where then? Tirana. Tirana? That's in Albania, isn't it? It's the capital. Hmm? And behind the curtain? Uh, in your language, in ours, you are the ones who are locked in. But uh, political geography should be no bar to what you call, Mr. Packard, a, a good deal. How good? I am ready to bid. So am I. And I'm ready to talk to you about it any time you like. We haven't even met. McGill. It's a seller's market. How much have you heard? Uh, more than was said. Enough to know you shouldn't pass up any opportunity. I don't intend to. Why don't you have a few words with Mr. McGill now? But not here. Rudnick's not here for an auction. I'll uh, top his offer. You'll get the chance. Let's go. This McGill, he is an American businessman? Worse. Police. Sort of. Intelligence. Forget what I just said, Mr. Rudnick, and what you just saw. I see. Mr. Packard, you have my sympathy. Let's drop the subject, Mr. Rudnick, please. 
If uh, I can be of any help, I mean, uh, if this Mr. McGill should turn out to be a nuisance. We might have to take you up on that, Mr. Rudnick. We just might. Coulston wants you back in London at your desk. He says everything's forgiven. Tell him, no, thank you. And you owe him some explanation for running out on him like that. Well, now, the sun shines all day here. Alarm clocks don't go off. Commuter trains don't run. Well, what do those reports do? They belong to me. That's a legal question. Possessions, nine points of the law. They're for sale, aren't they? Certainly. Is that Albanian, too? People get hungry on both sides of the Iron Curtain. If the Albanians can pay enough for my method to increase their food supply, I'll take their money. You think you're going to get back to London someday, rich, suntan, and free, if nothing ever happened? I'm not thinking of that. Well, you better start thinking about it. Well, sometimes when you make the break, those pieces just don't fit together again. You're speaking from experience. Don't sell to Rudnick. Tell Coulston to make me an offer. I can't help feeling sorry for Coulston. What he must think of me. Just concentrate on the operation. Rudnick uh, seems uh, straightforward enough. Rudnick's an Albanian agent. Are you sure? I radioed for a check. So the Albanian government appreciates my research. It's possible they're on to bigger fish. You better face it, Dalby. They may know why we're really here. And why is Rudnick out in the open? Either to scare us off altogether, or panic us into doing something foolish. What do we do? Follow orders. Well, McGill may be useful. Uh, the harbor guard will be off in half an hour. I'll take first watch on the boat. No, no. Let me. Adriatic knife's are rather beautiful. I haven't noticed. Listen, Coulson, I told him all of that. He just doesn't want to come back. What about the papers? Those papers are up to the highest bidder. And you got some pretty stiff competition there. Who's bidding, then? There's a guy named Rudnick. He's an Albanian. Albanian? Yeah. Leros is Albanian. He's the greatest oceanographer in the world. Why do they want our stuff when they got him? Yeah. That's right. I see what you mean. Well, I'll look into it. I'll get back to you later. Right. Goodbye.
Use this, but uh, try not to get pushed in while wearing it. That's a good chap. These I don't mind about. The shirt was custom built in German Street. Well, you didn't have to go to all that trouble. Uh, all part of the service. I'm going to not ask you how I got here. Well, you didn't exactly leap out of the water. You know how you came to be in it? Yeah, I think I ran into King Kong out there somewhere. There's a pretty good punch. Yes, he does. That he does. I'm glad you were there. We'll be embarking in an hour or so. I'd like to know what you were doing on this boat before you went swimming. He's not one of your gorillas, is he? Better make it sound good, McGill. Well, I just have this thing for small boats. I just love one. I assume he was after my papers. Now, there's a question as to who they really belong to. But not to you. Not to you either, friend. Called your boss a little while back. Told him about the competition I'm having from the Albanians. That's true. No, he doesn't believe it. He says that there's a Professor Leros who's one of the world's outstanding oceanographers. This happens to be Albanian. So what? So they need his research about, like, the Atlantic needs salt. I told him I'd look into it. You can call the police if you want to. You have searched him. I left the fountain pen lying around. It's there. You left something else lying around, too. I used to have one of these when I worked for American Intelligence. Standard issue, federal patent. Now, what kind of dummy are you leaving this laying around? I'll only warn you this once, McGill. Listen. Somebody tried to kill me tonight, and I'm just wondering how much you had to do with it. As much as I could. Yeah, I figured that. I know your background, McGill. You wore the same coat six years ago, and you weren't bounced for dependability. Now, if you're short of a buck or two to get back where you came from, I can spare a thousand. Now, you really are a dummy, aren't you? How much do you know? Listen, I don't want to know anything about you. I don't care what you're doing. Nothing. I just don't care. I'm interested in Coulson's papers, and I want to know if I can buy them. You were supposed to stow these, and you weren't supposed to let anyone in here. I couldn't let him drown. I would have. You noted our sailing dates. I'm not blind, honey. And you've concluded? I've concluded nothing. You concluded that on one of these odd dates, one of us will be going ashore up here off Durazzo in northern Albania. So I don't want to hear about it. You're deep in the confidential file already. Well, Jimmy. stop putting me there. Now, listen. I'm only here to buy your papers. Then make sure you don't wind up a long way short of middle age in the Adriatic. He may have failed tonight. He? What do you mean, he? You're an American citizen, McGill, even if only just. The guy who nearly had you drowned and will try again is at the hotel. Our Albanian friend, Rudnik. That's right. You've set him up. I tried, pal. I tried as hard as I could. Wrong dates, wrong place. Everything he has is wrong. Except Professor Liras. Uh, he won't connect it. But what about Rudnik? He'll probably compare wrong information with McGill. I'll kill him. Better him than us. Come in. Well? We just had confirmation from Packard, sir. They're sailing on schedule. Well, that's Packard. Dependable. Yes, not very imaginative, though. Imagination could be fatal in this assignment. What about McGill? Bad news. He's dead? No, he's alive. He cabled a newspaper friend of his asking for information. About what? Dolby. And the newspaper friend cabled him Dolby's complete biography before we could stop him. Then McGill knows about Dolby and the submarines. Uh, it shouldn't be much help, though. Unlike Packard, McGill has imagination. Well, we could send Packard further orders. He doesn't need them. Packard knows how to deal with Miguel. As I said, imagination can be fatal. That's rough. As of this moment, this department never heard of Miguel. There never was such a person anywhere near our operation. Clean out the files. Amend the reports. No Miguel. Not ever. Sir. Oh. <laughs> 
Hey, Marco, hey. Try to control yourself. Why me last night, Renick? You have a temper. That's right, and I got a couple of lumps on my face, too. A coffee might ease it. Let me say at once, if I had known last night what I know about you now, there would have been no unpleasantness. After all, you are no longer officially on the other side. Are you? You keep Kong in his cage, Rudnick. You know, Miguel, you and I have certain things in common. Yeah, this lump I have on my face and the one I hope you have coming on yours. Don't rush away. There is so much at stake here. It would be a pity if... If what? If what? What's at stake here? I needn't tell you about the balance of power between the East and the West. Sometime you must have thought about it, how for the security of the world that balance must be maintained. Deep sea farming has absolutely nothing to do with the balance of power. And our friends aren't here to make many fish where once there were only a few. No. But what they wish to do is immoral. What's that? It is immoral if one side is prevented from making the adjustments to restore the balance. What kind of adjustments? All I can say is that our side pays well. Well, and I'd stick to your side if I were you. Take your time, Miguel. Let's discuss it over dinner. Shall we say nine tonight? Why not? Let's say nine tonight. Marco? Mina Mazito. Yes? Please. Will you send up another breakfast? This one is cold. Yes, sir. I've been thinking. What? Huh? About McGill. It's a bit one-sided. It's what? I mean, McGill doesn't even know what he's getting into. We can always send a reef. From you! Get tired of the view. Here it is. They've spotted us again. We don't hide our bird from the Albanians. They don't hide their radio messages from us. But always like this Packard, fun and games. We've sailed here off dreamy Durazzo every odd day for two weeks. Every time we've come, they've spotted us and notified the patrols. Two weeks. Be quiet. This silly game is supposed to fool them? Yes. But when the great even day comes and you get your precious orders to sail someplace miles and miles from here, they'll be waiting for us. Sick from love. Don't overestimate them and don't underestimate me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ik kom hier lopen. Tot die lekker massa's, keer je. Thanks. Hallo? Keer het niet. Prep je naar Fisimer. Fisica. Wie is op mijn eigen strip? Ze zijn niet aan het zien. Is being advised to leave today. In een perta. Waar is hij dan? Dat deed hij niet. Af toe in het jataje. Now he will say, get me a taxi. Yes. Will you get me a taxi for the airport, please? Yes, sir. Get me one too. Wait. Cracking. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hi, Remnick. Your journey went well. We didn't sink. I'm glad we still have business to do, Mr. Dolby. You and I. Not now. Uh, I could sleep for a week. This evening, then? This evening. Eight o'clock. Here in the bar? <laughs> it is the only place to do business. <laughs> That's right. You will need your wits about you. I drive a hard bargain, so they say. I need a drink. Dolby. You go up to the room and do your homework. It's done. You won't have more than 10 minutes with the professor. It's absolutely crucial you be alert enough to identify him and authenticate his information. A martini, one little martini. Take this seriously, I... Dolby. You can't afford to be flippant when you're responsible for half the world. about the charter plane. Right. It is a private flight, sir, going to Tirana. Tirana? In Albania. Well, thank you. Thank you. your decorations, too. Make it good and fast, McGill. We're in a hurry. Yeah, you gotta meet Rudnick tonight. I wonder if he's gonna be back in time to meet you, though. I don't think he can be in two places at once, and I just saw him on his way to Albania. I suppose you personally saw him off. Something like that. Is there anything you want to tell us, McGill? He's come to ask, not to tell. Hey, dummy. Give your brain a break, will you, for about ten minutes. I just want to know where Coolsden will find those papers once you're reported dead. Go on. Go on what? What do you know, McGill? I don't know anything. I don't have to. Neither does Rudnick. All he has to do is have a hunch. That's good enough. All right, then let's have it. Okay. You're an oceanographer. You're an expert on the Adriatic. You spent five years in the Royal Navy submarines. There's secret charts around here. There's a shortwave radio set around here somewhere. There's a map of the Albanian coast. Boy Scouts here. The Boston Square from American Intelligence. And you've already made your odd day trip out. And it looks like you're getting ready to make a longer trip. And you'll probably arrive at your destination on an even date. And? And what more do you want me to say? It's your story. Albania's China's ally. So? So what about the pretty well-authenticated reports of a Chinese variety of Polaris submarine? How about that? What do you need, an underwater depot in Europe somewhere, a base in the Adriatic? And that'd put it in your territory, wouldn't it, Packard? In range of Europe's cities. Now, you know what I think you two nuts are gonna do? I think you're gonna sail this little boat out to the middle of the Adriatic somewhere, and you're gonna meet somebody who's gonna give you, or sell you, the information to that submarine base. 
And all this baloney about deep sea fish farming is just a cover to get you here. You won't be going to shore, Miguel. I never intended to. Better get below, Dalby, and get started. We'll be in position in ten minutes. Take McGill with you. Somewhere around in here. Round about. Uh, that's pretty far from Durazzo. A long way from the Albanian patrol boats, we hope. Who are you meeting? Professor Leros. I met him at an international conference years ago. Oh, so that's why they picked you. Uh-huh. They need me to authenticate the information. Are you single? Yeah. Sure, man. They got you marked down as expendable. Well, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's great. That's just what they want you to say. Somebody's got to do it. Why are you here? Because you are. You know, you're as square as Packard in your own way. Thank you. Were you single when you were kicked out of the American intelligence? Yep. Expendable? Yep. It figures. Yep. Professor Leros Dolby. My friend Dolby, Professor. Mr. Dolby, we have met, I think. Yes, Professor. That's all right. He's one of us. Sorry, yes, sir. As quickly as possible, please. Two submarine vests. The first is a dummy intended to mislead. The second is the one we will go ahead with. A special channel is being prepared. Marvelous stuff. Thank you. You thank me. My own people would call me a traitor. It doesn't matter. All that matters is what my conscience tells me to do. Hey. It's Rudnick. Get the papers. You tip them off. No, I Then you sold us off. They don't know about you? No, I swear. Then prove it. Get in there. What do you mean, in here? That's right. What are you going to do? Bluff them. Give me a gun. I'll give you a bullet. Come on, you can't. We had a cover story. Get in there. Dolby, Professor Leros, we did not have the opportunity to meet on the boat. Is there anything you wish to explain? I'd like you to explain what you're doing on my boat. Or better yet, I'd like you to get off. Your boat has been impounded. By an Albanian businessman? No, by the Albanian government. What are you doing here, Professor? The professor's an oceanographer like me. And even better known. He's inquiring about those research papers from my firm. Really? He would like to buy them. 
He has a right to bid. Uh, can't you think of a better cover story? It's the only story there is. Perhaps you have managed even to persuade the good professor to drop a few words or even documents about metal creatures that swim under the water. Look for yourself. We will. Thoroughly. Later. There's plenty of money, Rudnick, in the sea farming operation. Money? An advance for you. Against concession rates. A bribe. World security at stake and you offer a bribe? Do you really think that men of honor can only be found on your side? Now, if you please, quickly and quietly. Where are we supposed to be going? To a fair trial. to trust you. You'll have to. Come on, give me the papers. I'll try. I swear. Where do I go? Number one, London? Yes. Get back in there.
Fellow from the Foreign Office released them to me today. I don't see how the Foreign Office come into it, but there you are. Oh, that's great. Just mail me my check. Well, where's Dolby? Well, I don't think he'll be around for quite a while. Excuse me. Got a little fouled up, but I think this is what you wanted. Thank you, Miguel. You are aware, Miguel, of the seriousness of what you may have latterly seen or heard, and that any irresponsible disclosure could lead you into trouble with our country. I know that you're no longer officially... Listen, wait a second. Don't hand me that stuff. Now, what about Packard? What about Dolby? Plainly, Miguel, we never heard of them. 